How's it going guys? It is Colasio here. Welcome back to another FIFA 19 Cremo video. Guys, today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to actually dominate a road to glory. So a lot of you do road to glories, a lot of you love it, and a lot of you doing the teams that you support. And today I'm just bringing you some little bits of advice to actually, in your first season, to make sure that you start implementing some of these things. Because this is kind of a long-term project, so I'm giving you long-term goals as well as some short-term goals to actually help you achieve success in a road to glory. Because it can be a struggle to start off with. But anyway guys, before I go ahead, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like and share with your friends. And speed of Cremos, the Blackman Rovers Cremode is coming very soon. It is Friday today while you're watching this and the Cremos should be coming out uh, late next week and I will be on an official date out for you very soon so make sure you stay subscribed um, because at the end of a video I will be having the date on there but anyway guys let's go on into the first tip so your first tip you're looking at is investment right so what you need to take consideration with a road to glory is the long-term objectives that you do have consider investing in certain particular players even if they don't have massively high potential even if it's only like 75 potential but they start off at 55 rated you can invest in them very very cheaply and then sell them on in the future to make yourself some very good money even if you loan them out every single season definitely worth doing so consider investing your money wisely while doing a road to glory i actually want you to create a spine to your side so starting off a career mode is kind of more of a short-term goal to get yourself quite established is to actually create yourself a central spine to your team very strong players from your goalkeeper to your center back central midfielder and your striker so four key players in your side so what that will do is kind of give you this idea of like, okay I understand that these are all the players which I'm working around. I'll sign players from my youth squad to from the transfer window to actually adapt to this. That's the whole point in it. So you kind of give yourself a very strong central core of a team and you'll be able to work around that to actually invest in some new players or even bring in younger players to upgrade it to the first team. So you know what? Something that always, always gets overlooked when in a road to glory is understanding your objectives. Make sure that you go in there, know what the board wants to achieve. Because if they want you to invest in youth and you choose not to, your points are just going to go down and down and down. And when you're losing games in a road to glory, which, by the way, is guaranteed if you're on a decent level, you need to make sure that you understand your objectives because then your rating won't come down as much as much so when you are meeting objectives but you lose a game your rating kind of levels out and it stays the same but if you are not meeting objectives and losing games it's just like boom 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 it's going to come down so make sure you understand those objective guys for long-term success in a road to glory you know what normally i don't say this but in a road to glory i think it's worth it bin off any unwanted talent so the talent which is kind of all dying off make your money while you can don't take advantage of some of them some of them might be okay might be okay right you know what, I'll give them a go, but a lot of unwanted talent you might not want in the side, get off, make your money, and invest in something else. Like I said, a road to glory is all about investment. Right, coming in next, guys, kind of a short-term, long-term goal with this particular one, or medium one, you could say. It is two hidden gems I would like you to sign. So what you need to do in a start of Road to Glory is get yourself one or two players which are going to be well-established in the future. So get yourself two very good hidden gems with, like, 80-odd-plus potential, which in around four to five seasons will be star players in your actual squad. So take that in consideration. Buy yourself some youth hidden gems. So speaking of youth, guys, and kind of hidden gems, I want you to invest in some youth. So I always say when you're doing Road to Glory, you've actually got the opportunity to invest in youth and actually make yourself some money in the long term. With some youth players, you can actually save yourself some players, you save yourself some money um, just by, because you have this established youth system, you'll be able to go, right, okay, you know what, I'm going to pick someone out from there to start on my side today, or do I need a new left mid, let me just see what I got on my youth side. You can work from there, so invest in your youth, because you've got the opportunity to introduce them very, very quickly into your squad, because the only downside is, when you have a youth system, you started off with a well-established team, or later on in a career mode, a lot of those players are not going to get in your squad for another two to three seasons. But when you're actually doing a road to glory and you sign yourself a 60 rated youth player, they can either jump straight into your squad or they can actually go, right, okay, we put you out on loan for a season, you start next season. And that's how it works. It's usually a very quick a turnaround to get youth players into your senior side. So anyway, guys, that is my tips on actually how to dominate a road to glory in FIFA 19. I hope this has kind of helped you guys. If you are considering starting a road to glory and you're kind of unsure, where do I go? What do I do? 
this will kind of give you that good little beneficial idea of, right, okay, I need to understand my objectives, I need to invest money, I need to find myself some hidden gems, and get some youth players going. That's kind of some of the biggest tips I can give you to make sure that you master your road to glory, guys. But anyway, guys, my name is Golazio. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to the big red button right down there right now. But anyway, your support's been uh, incredible. We're close to 600. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, actually, at uh, Golazio. So, fans, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.